The last thing that players think about is the thing they concentrate on throughout the game, the ball. Today's basketball is expected to be perfect. In size, in weight, in performance, it's expected to remain constant. We're going into the Wilson factory to have a look at the way they make the official NCAA men's and women's game basketballs. The NCAA basketball is composed of three sections, a wound air-filled bladder, a rubber carcass, and a 100% moisture-absorbing composite cover. To make the bladder, sheets of butyl rubber are laid onto a folding platform. The platform moves into a press where the panels are fused together under pressure and heat. Each bladder is molded to fix the rubber permanently into shape. Butyl rubber is dense and air resistant to avoid even a slight deflation of the ball during the game. 3,000 meters of three-ply nylon thread is wound around the bladder to further ensure that the ball will retain its shape and to assist with rebound qualities during the game. Eight rubber panels are placed into a mold and the nylon wound bladder is inserted. A second molding process fuses the panels into one solid surface, known as the carcass. Strips of pebbled channel material are laminated to the carcass by hand. The channels that have been molded into the carcass make the ball easier to grip. The composite leather cover material is also pebbled to enhance performance and grippability. The edge of each panel is skived and an adhesive is applied to both the carcass and the panel back. Each panel is fitted to the carcass by hand, with great care taken to ensure absolute accuracy. The ball is overinflated inside a mold to press and fit the panels firmly to the surface of the carcass, and also to remove any air bubbles. The basketballs emerge from the machine complete. They are inspected and are ready for the big game. The surface of the modern NCAA ball absorbs moisture and grows tackier during the game, so that it won't slip from the player's grip when the game is on the line. Consistency of the ball takes some of the pressure off these young players and allows them to concentrate on their skills during the game.